first step, I'm gonna prep my skin so my makeup go on smoothly and remain in place. The more your skin looks good to begin with, the better the makeup will look. I also put a lip balm to moisturize my lips. So to properly prep your skin, you need to use a toner, moisturizer, or primer, and sunscreen all the time since it plays a big role on how your makeup will look. We want to look radiant and make our skin protected throughout the day so I'm using an SPF with hyaluronic acid and Zika in it. Make sure to use a two finger method. So as you can see, my face is like a clean canvas now. It's more bright and healthy. Next, I'm using a lightweight foundation with concealer to cover any areas with unevenness. I'm using the shade Vanilla in 02 and mixing these two products gives you a natural coverage and seamless finish. Anyway, I'm going to apply this all over my face to make it more even. Then I'm applying a spritz of setting spray on my brush to give it a better grip on my skin. I've been doing this technique for so long now and I realize it's really effective especially if you're going outside a lot. So if you're worrying about school air or whatever it is, please try this technique because it's really effective. So we're done with our base guys and as you can see, it's giving my skin but better. So now I'll be using my favorite cool tone shade from Hamish palette and I'll be using this to contour my nose. I use a fluffy brush to blend it evenly. So I use the same shade to create the shadows and to add more dimension on my face. Next, I'm using a liquid blush from Focalore. This is in the shade Lady Pink. It's very pigmented, so you need to be really careful when applying it. For me, I like to put it in the back of my hand so I can have control over the pigment. And I'm obsessed with pink tone blush recently, and this one is my current favorite from my collection. I use the excess on my chin and tip of my nose to make it more natural looking. They also have 4 different shades and here are the swatches that I made. I'll be using a light pinkish nude eyeshadow to add some color on my eyes. Then I'll be tight lining using this gel liner pencil from Pink Flash. They have two colors but for today I'll be using the brown one. I'm going to apply it underneath my upper lash line. I added a soft wing to extend my eyes. You can use a flat angled brush to clear the edges. And I also use a brown liquid liner to secure the tail. Next step is curling my lashes. I usually skip this part because I always get a lash lift done. But for today's video, I curled it since I'm not yet satisfied. So, I'm using an oil control waterproof mascara from Pink Flash and it's kinda good for a stubborn Asian lashes. Next, to keep my brows in place, I'm using this clear brow gel from Focalore. It's good for people with microbladed, thick brows and for those who don't know how to do their brows yet. Next, 
Next, I'm applying a gold highlighter cream on my nose. Then, I'm setting my face with translucent powder. For the base color of my lips, I'm using the lightest shade in this duo lippy in the shade MO03. Then, I put a small dot using the darker shade in the middle to create a soft gradient lips. This is optional guys but you can use a gloss on top of it if you like some shine on your lips. Lastly, to really secure the whole makeup look, I'm spraying this good setting spray again from Pink Flash. Here's the quick test that I did on this product. I swatch an eyeshadow on my wrist using the same shade and then I only spray it on the left side. After drying, I use my fingers to swatch them. As you can see, the left side with setting spray is still intact, while the other one smudges and transferred easily. So if you're interested with the products that I use, I will link it down below. And yeah, here's the completed school airproof makeup. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you on my next one. Bye!